Hi, I'm Divya. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a junior here at Frisco High School and my topic is animation. Um, I got interested in animation because I loved watching um, Pixar movies, Finding Nemo especially, and one day I just realized, whoa, people are actually making these movies. Like, there are people actually sitting behind a computer and creating these characters and making them come to life. And that really blew my mind and really sparked my interest in animation. So, um, and that's what my quote is. Um, it's by John Lasseter. He is the creative director at Pixar. And he actually even had the same epiphany as me. And one day I would really love to go and meet him and probably work with him or something. <coughs> so, um, uh, starting with the, um, just class, um, we learned about every step that you can do in animation. So you start off by just creating a character. You um, draw them out and then you make a story about them. And that's called storyboarding. And so you make every scene that's going to happen. And then after you storyboard, you actually make the character in the computer program. The one that we use is called Maya, and that's the one that Disney also uses to model their characters. Um, then you texture the character, and that is actually what we're doing right now in animation. We're putting the layout on the character so that way when we um, give them their clothes and colors and fur and all that stuff, it doesn't look weird, it looks normal. And then you go on to lighting, which is what gives the um, characters their shadows and really brings them to life. And then you animate them, and that's just the movement and then we'll have a completed short film. Um, to become an animator, you need to have a strong foundation in art, and that's what every one of the people I've interviewed have said. Make sure you study art, make sure you know as much as you can about it. You need to understand how bodies are made, the proportions, you just need to know how art works. Um, then you also need to know math because to make proper proportions, you need to know how it's going to work. And also, math helps with the timing and um, just the overall look of your um, film. You also need to know anatomy, and that, again, goes with how your character looks. If you want um, a more realistic character, they have to have proper human proportions. But if you want to make um, like an innocent-looking cartoon character, they usually have big eyes. So you need to know how big you can make them without making the character look weird. And then you have to have computer skills because you are working on the computer all the time. 90% of our class time is just on the computer and even more now because we're making our animatics. So, and you also need to know programming. Um, the college professor, Dr. Midori Kitagawa, also said that um, you should know how to write a script because when working with computer programs, they can be really, really moody. Like, Maya, if one day it'll want to work, and then the next day it won't want to work. So if you ever have to make adjustments, you need to know how to write a script and program the computer. So that's also made me think maybe I should take computer science, maybe just to understand how programs work. You also have to have time management and people skills, because you are working on a team, and everyone is dependent on you. So time management, that goes with the um, programming. Like, if you need um, to fix something in the program, you have to go to the programmer and they have to fix it, but they also have other jobs that they need to do. And so you're falling behind on your own job. So time management is pretty important. Um, also with, uh, you're not just working in everything. You are a specific job. So you <coughs> may be responsible for making the face in a film. And then you have to send it to the texture. So if you don't send it to the texture on time, the whole film is backed up now because you forgot to do your job. You need to have people skills because, like I said, you are working on a team. Everyone is dependent on each other. So you have to make sure that you know how to communicate, you know how to understand what people want from you and um, what, you need pe what you need from people. Um, the programs that we use are Maya, um, some, uh, some of the people that I interviewed also used Mudbox. Most of them were the college professors, but the most um, wide use program was Maya. Um, Photoshop is mostly used to make the textures of the people. Um, there are different ways, like you can just color onto your um, layout 
of the person or character. And, um, and then there's ways where you can change the scene so the flow goes on everyone. And image works. Um, that I wasn't really sure about um, what that was, but I looked into it and that's more just like drawing and also well, it's a lot like Photoshop pretty much. Um, for animation, it's a growing field. All of the people that I said, it is growing. Um, but there's lots of competition because art schools are just pumping kids out and there's not enough jobs for them. And that's a, the main reason for that is outsourcing. And because a lot of the jobs are being sent to countries like India, South Korea, China, because they're going to make the animations or the characters just a little pieces for a lot less. Um, the last article I just researched, uh, the characters that, it's the same job that you can have done in America for $250,000, you can get done in India for $60,000. So that is a big difference. But it's also a problem because um, it's taking away jobs for animators and just American jobs in general. And that's a big issue in a place where we have so many unemployment. Um, unemployed people. Um, and so that also made me start thinking, like, what should I do for my final product? Um, so for my final product, I was thinking maybe I could make something that um, helps create more, um, use more people in the animation, um, in the animation studio. And so you get more people working, but a way to use um, less money. So you have more people working, but the cost to the studio wouldn't be as much. And so I was thinking that I could use that and create like a short film with that or just make a plan, but that would be my final product. Um, for my original work, I have, I'm in animation at the Kate Center. And so with that, we are going through all this process of the steps to make um, a short film. Right now we are um, texturing and making the animatic, which is the 2D form of the short film. And that's going to be my original work, just the short film that I make in class with my partner. So my character is Zachy, my partner's character is Mr. Bubbles, and um, our short film is called Pancake Pandemic. Um, I haven't gotten a mentor yet. And yeah, I haven't gotten a mentor yet, but um, and that's been a bit of a problem because that holds me back from actually starting my um, final product and getting an actual idea of what I'm going to do with that. But it helps me because um, now I have more of a chance to understand um, other parts of animation. So now I have an interview with uh, um, Miss Jessica Nobusu, who is. Um, who's a graphic designer, and um, she was also in the ISM program. And so now I get to see more of the graphic design part of animation, and because they are really close to each other. Um, graphic design also is used a lot for commercials, and so is animation. So that's what I'm looking forward to, is trying to see how those two really do connect and how you see them in the real world.